September 7th, 1914. Taxis drove all night. Anna was proud to help the soldiers reach the front line. When Anna arrived at her destination, she discovered the horrible truth with her own eyes. Nobody fully understands war until they see it with their own eyes. Seven months went by. Driven by compassion, Anna devoted herself, body and soul, to healing the wounded and the sick. Every life saved was another small victory over the war. The conflict, however, raged on. Diaries. September 7th, 1914. The situation is horrific here. Yesterday I was in my warm, cozy apartment and now I'm in the depths of hell. There are so many dead, so many young lives lost. I managed to save one soldier this morning, but there are so many others to tend to. Tomorrow I'll try to get closer to the front so I can help those most in need. April 22nd, 1915. Those freaking shells nearly did it for me. There's no way I'm giving up so close to my goal. Apparently their leader's called Von Dorf. I'm going to get him. Everyone else are just pawns in his game to me. April 22nd, 1915. Carl's alive. I caught sight of him flying a Zeppelin heading south. We're going to look for him again tomorrow with Annie and Freddy. September 25th, 1914. Today, the German... Oh, I already read that one. I need a saw? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I can't believe I'm doing this. Did I cut off his arm, his hand? What did I cut off?
I saw. This is a crutch. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, how did he get down there? Oh, you're German. That doesn't matter, I'm a medic. French officers were talking about Belgium. The German army was about to experiment with a new weapon near Ypres, Anna's hometown. Papa. Anna got en route to warn her father about the imminent danger. Reaching the outskirts of the city, Anna was greeted by the screams of sirens. The deadly gas was already here.
Oh, son of a bitch. Something that would break something, but it did not. What if I being done this more? <laughs> about ready to break. Breathe deep, man. Breathe deep. <laughs> 